people sometimes dare themselves to do dangerous things like bungee jumping or skydiving or swimming with sharks. But what was found is that after people swam with sharks, they walked away feeling different. Differently about the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> They did. They came out um, and they they would use adjectives that they hadn't used before with that with the animals. But this is one of those things that to me just seems so clear cut. This is the basis of ecotourism. This is something that um, it, it, it's part of that movement. The more you connect, the more you know about anything, a topic, a species, an animal, a person. The more you are viscerally and emotionally connected and tied to them, the more you care about their well being. You are you you have studied marine life extensively. Yes, um, and I'm sure. Have you done something like this? I have, and it is a, a once in a lifetime experience for most people. It is something that will change your perspective on it. There are there are ways to do it where you can interact with these animals. They are predators. They are apex predators. You have to treat them as such. You have to come in, and if you do go swimming with sharks, you have to be the alpha. So you have to kind of, they follow what? a very strict hierarchy. They I don't will, know if I can be tougher you can than totally a shark. Do it. You lower your heart rate a little bit, you calm down. <laughs> you then come in from top because they, the normally the big alpha, normally the females in sharks yeah. um, are always at the top of the food <laughs> chain and at the top of the hierarchy. And then, you know, the betas are lower below and um, kind of have to wait their turn. So if you come from above, you kind of like come in as an alpha and you don't maintain eye contact. Um, there are things that you, yeah, you, you know, um, there are things that you do to kind of um, alleviate that tension with them. But there's something about, you know, connecting with an animal mm -hmm. that makes you respect it as opposed to fear it. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole point. It's uh, replacing fear with fascination. I have a friend that uses that expression all the time and I, I love it. it. That's a great expression. It is, right? It's, um, it's one of those things where, Jaws in particular, Peter Benchley did, um, a, he was a shark lover, but he inadvertently did a disservice when mainstream audiences suddenly had such a fear of sharks. You can't go in the water without thinking, mm -hmm. maybe there's a shark here. You can't go swimming in open water without going like, oh, what's on, what, you know, the, the dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's gonna that, eat us. It's gonna come. But you don't go on a hike and think, oh, maybe there's a lion or a tiger or. I, do you? Well, I went camping Maybe you and do? I was like lying at night like a bear's going to kill me if I go to sleep. <laughs> a bear did not kill me and I did go to sleep. Yeah. Just and just to finish that story. <laughs> You survived. Yes. Um, a lot of these uh, companies that offer swimming with sharks and cage diving and things like that, if they do it in a sustainable way, with which takes five minutes to research and kind of see what their mission statement is, um, they do it in a way that promotes the conservation of these species. So they, you know, uh, will potentially chum the water but not feed the sharks and they will um, go to areas of natural like large aggregate systems of different groups and Galapagos sharks or mm -hmm. whatever kind of shark you're looking to swim with. And they do it in a way that hopefully if more money goes into that, like I really encourage people to do this. If more money goes into that, less money will be you know, placed as a prize for these animals to be hunted, targeted, culled, killed, finned, you know, all of the above. Mm -hmm. um, a great white mandible goes on the black market for, you know, I think it's 70,000 uh, British That's pounds crazy. or something insane. It is. Like the ones you see at museums. Yeah. Wow. Um, I do, I don't think we said it earlier at the top, but this paper did appear in Marine Policy and focused on 783 people who took part in a shark dive experience. Uh, particularly, it seemed they chose this because the people were interested in an adrenaline rush, like I said off the top, bungee right. jumping and what have you. Not necessarily in the mind for con conversa conservation. <laughs> uh, so it, it's interesting to see that they took it from that kind of agnostic point of view mm -hmm. to the pro-conservation point yeah. of view. And if you connect with an animal in any experience or an environment, um, I think it naturally, you know, it, it's it's that same premise I with mean, religion. It happens with people. Yeah, where I know some people who have not met people who are different from them. I'm gonna say, uh, no, I can't. He'll be furious. Uh, an older man I know does not like gay people, uh, but his wife does because she knows a couple. I think she learning, yeah. So okay, I think okay, that amount of, I mean, at baseline, I think we should know there is a good reason for us to care about each other and to not actively support 
you know, discrimination or destruction of other people. Yeah. But at the very least, empathy is a great way to yeah. get to that point if you aren't there already. Um, also, recently, uh, President Trump. Oh, so hard to say, President Trump. Sometimes. I don't. Um, Trump came. Uh, news came out that he hates sharks. Mm -hmm. it, Intensely, and that he wishes the entire species would die, That's which is already—it's it's ridiculous. And the cascading effect would just be—they're an important part of the ecosystem. They are just like wolves. Any apex predator keeps the biomass of prey animals um, at a certain level. Which, if not, you would have algae blooms going crazy or scallops just mm -hmm. like you know procreating relentlessly because there'd be no predators that eat them, and it, it's catastrophic. But regardless. Somehow that backlash from Trump has then made the general audience and the general public invest more in shark conservation societies, which is the silver lining. Maybe it'll work out after all. Audience, <laughs> do you understand how ecosystems work? Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>